Millet porridge is one of those breakfast options that's so easy and quick to prepare. Here in Kenya, millet porridge is commonly known as uji and it's perfect for all ages. My childhood was filled with porridge breakfast, which my mom used to prepare for around three to four times a week. Went to high school and still had porridge, but in this case, I had maize meal porridge and also i have a video about that you can check up here or in the description box so today i'll be showing you how to make millet porridge which is very nutritious because it's rich in calcium iron soluble fibers and vitamin d making it nutritious to include in your daily diet also it's perfect for winning babies that is six months and above for pregnant women and lactating mothers so stick around and watch how I make some delicious millet porridge. In a glass jar or in a cup or a bowl, you're going to be adding in three heaped tablespoons of millet flour. Then next, you're going to be adding in a cup of water, just like that. I'm going to stir in my millet flour until the flour is fully combined with the water. This is going to make it very easy for me to make my millet porridge because there will be no lumps. When I say three heaped tablespoons of millet flour, that is about three quarter cup of the millet flour. After stirring in, you'll notice that the millet flour is fully combined into the water with no lumps. So next, you're going to place a pot of a medium-high flame and add in one and a half cups of water. Next, you're going to be adding in your millet flour mixture into the pot and using a wooden spatula, you're going to stir until the pot comes to a boil. That is going to take around a minute. So keep on stirring until the pot comes to a boil because you want to avoid lumps because once you stop stirring, the millet flour is going to form lumps and you're going to have a very lumpy porridge. As the pot is coming to a boil, the millet flour is going to start thickening up as it cooks just like this. This is how it's looking. So at this point, you're going to be adding in half a cup of milk. Then using your spatula, you're going to stir in the milk into the porridge. And once you notice that the porridge is still thick, you're going to be adding in another half a cup of milk, making it a cup of milk. So you'll add in your milk according to your own preference. If you like your uji or porridge a little bit thick, you'll add in half a cup. And if you like it just in between, you'll add in one cup. So mine is looking amazing. So I'm going to be adding in three tablespoons of sugar. Also, when it comes to sugar, you'll add in according to your own preference. There are some people who like their porridge a little bit sweet. And if you like the uji a little bit sweet or the porridge, you're going to be adding in even three to four tablespoons of uji. You can also add in honey. And the best thing about the porridge is that it's gluten-free, it's delicious, and it's filled with nutrients. Once you've added in your sugar or honey, you're going to use a spatula and stir in the sugar. Let the porridge cook for around three to four minutes on low flame. After around five minutes, this is how the porridge is looking like and it's looking so delicious already. The next thing is to serve my millet porridge or uji. So I'm going to turn out the flames and I'm going to be serving mine in a bowl. You can also keep your porridge hot in a vacuum flask, just like mine. But because I'm going to be showing you how delicious the uji is looking like, I'm going to be serving my uji in my bowl.
once you have served up your uji you're going to be adding in any toppings of your choice in this case i've added in crushed peanuts which are going to add even more yumminess to the uji. You can also add in some dried fruits, that is sultanas or raisins, and it's going to make the uji even more nutritious. Also, you can add in some butter for that nice buttery taste. So that's it, and this is how the millet porridge has turned out, and I can't wait to have mine while still warm. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll be trying out this amazing and simple breakfast recipe.